Next up, we're gonna be doing some Sonic. How about that? Some Sonic? See? There he is! See? See? He's right there. He's right there. You see him, don't you? What? This is Mario? Explain then. Explain what you're seeing on screen right now. This is Mario? I don't know. Might have some words on that one. Got the Sonic CD jumping sound effects. Here's everyone's, uh... Oh wait, I can't do it yet. Oh no, I can't. Here's everyone's beloved super peel out. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? Hmm? Kinda crazy, right? Maybe this isn't a Mario game, huh? Don't worry about all these guys. Badniks. Ooh, jeez. Does a spin dash kill things? Ooh, it does and it opens monitors. That, uh, blocks. I can't believe I did that. Electric shield works as intended as well. Look at that. Sometimes looking around is the best way to find yourself finding some secrets. What's up here? Secrets? Nice secret star coin. There's so much in this fan game that I am amazed by. Not only are there several playable characters all with their own special abilities and different reasons for playing them, but the levels are very, very well designed. The overworld is crazy, and they include so much stuff from different Mario games that this feels like an homage to the entire Mario like franchise as a whole. And Sonic is also in the game too. Uh, so that's good. Ooh, that was easy. Look at that. Free life monitor. I love this. Uh, I did play the new version of Sonic Riders DX. Uh, thank you for the $2 also. You missed that, but you can check the VOD once this is all over. Showed off the new characters, and it was a lot of fun. Kinda kicked ass. I think I'm pretty decent at Sonic Riders until, uh, I go up against human opponents. Then I'm trash. Goodbye, have a nice day. Alright, have a good one then. Thank you for coming. General Kenobi, hello. Sonic, stop saying that. So yeah, this is uh, one of my fan favorite fan games to ever exist. This thing is crazy. You hear I like Rayman Redemption. Did you know it was once at Sage? I think I do remember that, yeah. I'm always glad to see more Rayman stuff. I feel like there's definitely not enough Rayman to go around. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I want to check the, the Mushroom House here, because I don't know if Sonic just has all inst- uh, inst- He has all elemental shields as his power-ups. It looks like he does. So I got speed shoes or something? Rayman Retired? That's his newest game. See, it's alliteration. Rayman Retired for the the, the- the- the Nintendo Switch. I- I have 38 of these? Wow. Uh, that's a lot. Okay. Special items. Retry clocks from Bowser's Inside Story? Uh-oh. What did I just do? I didn't mean to do that. I don't know what that's gonna do. I've got Boomerang Power Up, the Anchor from Mario 3, the Music Box. Wow. Some crazy stuff. Okay, I'm gonna show you the level that I was playing last night when I was playing this game. Not on the stream, but when the stream was over I was playing this on my own, because like I said, I like it a lot. This is the stage I was playing. Yoshi's not allowed here. But we go into Mario 2. This is a very nice little area. Alright, that spin dash is a little, a little lacking, but you know, if he goes too fast he's gonna be completely uncontrollable. He can pick up vegetables? Aw. <laughs> oh. I love this. This is like a fun little Super Mario Bros. 2 Sonic experience. Super Sonic Bros. 2, like in that video I made a while back. I'll show you some of the other characters after this as well. Because we do have a lot to choose from. Yeah, this game is... 
Like, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not not being like a kiss-ass. I swear. This is one of the most impressive things I've ever played. And the fact that it's a Mario fan game uh, honestly gives it more points in my book because it's, you know, it's kind of hard to make a Mario fan game without Nintendo getting a little upset. So I appreciate everything that's going into this. Clearly made for fans of Mario and Sonic is included for, you know, either Sage or just because the uh, creator is a fan of Sonic as well, which is cool. This is a reference to Doki Doki Panic. You know, that's a good point. There's not really anything to... That was interesting. That is not an ideal place for that Sniffit to be. Uh-oh. I was hoping it would kill this tweeter as well. But I can just throw this tweeter into this bottomless pit, I guess. Goodbye. Oh! Oh. <laughs> We've done it. <laughs> That was unfortunate. Sonic Moonwalking. Definitely a highlight of the stream. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see the other characters. So you can change characters at any time on the, the uh, menu screen here. Just go to progress, go to characters, and here we have our full roster. We've got Sonic, Classic Mario, Classic Luigi, Mario, Luigi, Toad, Peach, and Wario. And Wario, actually kind of interesting. I think he would play, like, Wario Land 4 or something, or just play like the other Mario characters. This dude actually plays like he does in the first Wario Land game. Which is not something I saw coming. I'm not going to that level because I spent a fuck ton of time playing that last night. So I'm going to show you this next level here. Uh, so yeah. He has moves like the slide and stuff, but he's also got the dash attack. And he's... Like, if you've played the original Wario Land, maybe you'll be able to see by the way he's moving through this. He controls like he does in Wario Land 1. Look at this place. That crab just increased in size tenfold. Let me get some garlic. I love this Wario sprite. I don't know what it's supposed to look like. I guess it's supposed to be Super Mario Bros. 3-esque? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, that's a really neat way to rework the dragon hat from Wario Land 1. Holy shit, we do have a lot of Wario Land 4 stuff. <laughs> Dude, this is sick. Do they have the jet hat in this game? I wonder. Okay, it's just gonna be dragon hat, I guess I'll keep that nearby. Alright. <laughs> It's a good thing I, uh, I kept that other one on hand. So it said I could also do the body slam. It, I don't know how to trigger that. Maybe I need another power up for that. But I believe Wario also picks things up like he does in his original games as well. No! Oh man, that was way too close. Yep, yeah, whatever. Just fucking kill me. Can't jump on side steppers. You can't do it. They're crabs. They got sharp hands. That dragon hat in your item reserve, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> also, I, I see uh, we have like these blocks that you need the dragon hat to <laughs> to get by, and I'm pretty sure that will change depending on what character you're playing as. So you don't need to play as Wario to get through there. But also, I'd like to point out, in Super Mario World, you could swim three different ways. If you press the A button, you swim normally. If you hold down, you swim upwards very slowly, but you, it's good for, like, uh, it's almost like strafing. And then if you hold up, you will swim upwards extremely fast. And like I said, this game incorporates, like, everything from the Mario franchise, practically. So, the creator added all of these things from Super Mario World. So, yet another reason, like, attention to detail, super impressive and amazing. 
The jetpack was a cool ability. I'm assuming that Wario's got a couple more power-ups because everyone else has a lot. Like, Mario and Luigi have several abilities. And actually, now that I think about it, each character gets different power-ups. Like, Luigi has his alternate power-ups from, like, you know, the future of the Mario series. Like, um, his raccoon suit is the, the Kitsune Fox Luigi. Uh, Princess Peach, I believe... Uh, what does she do? I, I know there are differences. Luigi, I found this costume in this game where he dresses up like a panda and he will throw, like, Hadoukens. Uh, that is obviously a new power-up for this game. And I would show it to you if I could. But it's pretty fucking cool. Hey, who said we wanted the jet hat? Oh, sorry, that's not the jet hat. That's just the, uh... That's the bull hat, which is just from Wario Land 1 again. Can't do the dash move underwater also, so I don't know if this thing has any extra abilities. Maybe this gives me the ground pound now? Oh, and see, holding an item makes you swim faster, like in Mario 3 and Mario World. I think in Mario 3, right? Ooh, red coins. So just like in New Super Mario Bros. Wii and all of those more modern games, we have the red coin switches, and if we get all of them, then we get a prize. Probably a 1-up. Oh, it's golden... garlic? Wow. It's a 1-up. Dark Mist, hey, thank you for joining the uh, sponsor group. Very much appreciated. If you are in the Discord, you'll get a uh, roll, too, so uh, you can be appreciated. Uh -huh. You know, I mean, I already appreciate you, but you'll be appreciated further. Look at that giant Pac-Man. That's awesome. Oh, jeez. These guys have always been a problem. Uh-oh. Yikes! I, uh, I didn't think I was getting out of that, I gotta be honest. I got really lucky there. I'm going a little crazy listening to this song, though. It's a little bit repetitive. Yikes. Oh, I like Tiny Wario. These sprites are great. I know he's more Super Mario Bros. 3 styled now. That's kind of what it looks like. It's a very nice way to update that sprite for- okay. Oh, okay. Is this Splatoon 3 early gameplay? You bet it is. I also have to show you... Let's see, what else do I want to show? I guess I could show one more character. I love these sprites, though. These are all fantastic. This style is really nice. There he is. Uh, let's see. I think Peach is another good character to play as. Instead of uh, her ability where you float after you hold the jump button, She's able to activate that at any time once she's falling down from a jump. So she's actually a lot more useful and adds a lot of like precision because of this new ability she has. We're gonna do um, okay. Foul Fungi. That sounds like a good level. Have I seen someone made a DX colorized version of Wario Land 1? No, I didn't see that. As I can say, I can jump all the way up here and as I'm falling, I can hold the button and she will start flying. We go instead of a mushroom she just has a peach that shows up which is fairly on brand i guess you are in foul fungi marsh this area has been transformed by the likes of bowser this once thick green vegetation is slowly being morphed by the all-stars power into a thick and toxic wasteland these goombas aren't looking too good either there's peach's fire flower I think they jump, the, the fireballs bounce a lot higher. That's her gimmick for her fire suit. Oh, I was not looking. You found my bed? Oh, geez, it must have taken a really long time to notice that one. Or unless you're noticing the thing on my bed. Are we finally going to talk about that? I, like, I'm surprised no one's mentioned it the entire stream. It's a realistic toad sitting on my bed behind me. Oh, 
<laughs> Listen, I've, I'm also trying to read the chat, so I'm gonna be killed in dumb ways frequently. Go that way. This stage looks really nice as well. Look how the tile sets have been very, uh, very good picks. Oh, jeez. Toxic sludge now we gotta deal with, I guess. Watch out, there's a toad behind me. Uh-oh, we're not even playing as him in the game. Oh, this is the great thing I love. They have bitty buds in the Mario 3 style. I love these guys. These are my favorite enemies from the newer Mario games. I don't know why. I just like that they travel in groups and they're adorable. Not too adorable that I won't kill them. But, you know. Gotta start somewhere. Oh, shit. No! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> that sucks. Alright, well. I'm gonna parkour Sonic and it's called Sonic Lost World. And it uh, wasn't very good. Those blocks were giving me the heebie-jeebies for a second because I thought as I walked by them, they were going to fill in like these coins are. But I forgot that's not how physics work. Just for coins. Obviously, money is the exception. Nothing. I find myself without a power-up in this game a lot. Because I'm sure you've seen... Th this game is sort of difficult. And if you play it yourself, you will see that. I, uh, I genuinely think this is actually a, a really fun and... Surprisingly challenging Mario experience. Oh, is that... Uh-oh. Is this spring explode or something? Is that why I got hurt? Look at this. Oh, it just disappears. I need to know what's in the very big block. This is gonna be something special, I think. The umbrella. Wouldn't that be great if I lost that immediately so I couldn't show you what it did? <laughs> So this is, instead of Peach's raccoon suit, she has her umbrella, and she can float around and hide in it like Super Princess Peach. I thought maybe it was just gonna be straight up uh, parry the umbrella from Super Princess Peach, but unfortunately it is not. But, uh, you know, I cannot blame for not doing that. I'm sure there's some kind of lore reason that parry the umbrella doesn't exist anymore. Did anyone play Super Princess Peach on the DS? game was, uh, surprisingly good. Except for the part at the very end where they were like, hey, if you didn't collect all the toads, you can't beat the game. Which I wasn't too hyped about, honestly. Maybe if I played it again these days, I'd probably collect all the toads easy. Oh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Uh, that is a great game. If you've played that and you liked it, try playing Donkey Kong 95. There's a Game Boy game, and it's basically the precursor to Mario vs. Donkey Kong, except it's a lot longer and on the Game Boy. Let's see. Ooh, secret bonus. Also, we can see all of Peach's uh, upgrades here, or a few of them at least. I really want to get that uh, the turn up. I don't know what that was. Oh, we're getting a life. Never mind. Sorry, is it Donkey Kong 94? That's that's on me. Uh, but this is Super Mario All-Star Attack, if I hadn't mentioned that yet, and... This game blows me away. In, like, every way. It's incredible. Uh, it does have this weird quirk, though, where you can't exit it by hitting the X button. You need to... Either go back to the title screen and quit, or you need to just, you know, task manager delete. Though, that's probably good because it stops you from losing save data, 